Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Evolution. This is episode 2 and today I've got some big plans and some big announcements to make. Um, okay, maybe not big, big announcements, but there's some things I want to talk about. For one, I've actually modified, um, well, more added sort of like a texture pack, but as a jar mod, if you know what that is, um, to the game. So you can see there that now I've got Hardcore Hearts, even though um, there is no actual Hardcore mode in Alpha. Um, and the other thing though is I actually died, um, again, so basically I'll explain what happened and what I'm going to do about it. Um, so I was over here, um, and I had actually explored the cave off camera. I was coming out of it and I was coming up and there was a few skeletons over here, I think, or there might've been just one or something and I was trying to avoid it, but it kept hitting me and my armor kept breaking, right? And so what I did was I was about here or so, and I started digging, I uh, started making sort of like this sort of thing, just sort of trying to protect myself from the skeleton. And silly me jumped up, and and when I jumped up, that's when it ponged me right there, and actually killed me. However, and I know this might sound like I've made it up on the spot, but um, I, this was actually discussed in the original first season of Hardcore in the 1.14 combat test. Um, Basically, what, well, what I discussed with some of the other members that were going to join me in Hardcore, um, in Hardcore Season 1 was for the first three episodes, deaths would not count just because it seems a bit too early. And I, uh, I decided not to stick with that with the first series, though, because I, I felt it was a bit illegitimate and stuff like that. But uh, it's now Episode 2, exactly like uh, the first season, and the exact same things happened. I've died in Episode 2. I decided I'm going to make one and only one exception uh, just for the first three episodes. Um, but even then, I'm going to try and do my best to make sure I don't ever die again. And beyond that, then I, yeah, then it will really be hardcore. Um, and like I said, that will be the one and only time. I actually have footage, by the way, so I think I'll show you that right now. Oh, thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Being attacked. Here we go. Come on, mate. At least we got all the old sounds. We just killed that chicken. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is a problem. N oh, no. I'm gonna wait till daylight. Alright, so with that out of the way, um, you will have noticed that there's a lot more trees around here than before. Like I said um, last episode, I was intending on clearing all this out, and there's all trees back again. And the torches are in a bit of a weird placement and stuff like that. Um, I intend on building a house, right? But I originally was going to go with... Um, I was going to pretty much copy the design that I had in a realm that I share with a friend. and But I've sort of decided against that. For the time being, because I think it'd be a bit too... I, I, I want to do something a bit more original in terms of what I do here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go into probably 1.5 or some older release version. Where I'm going to try building. I'm going to try like a, sort of like a creative test world. Um, but it'll be in a different version of the game, but only with alpha blocks pretty much. So I'll see you there. Alright, so this area might seem a little bit familiar, and that's because I'm using the old world gen mod, and I've also set the same seed as what the alpha world is, I just had to extract it using a um, NBT tool, I'll put it in the description if you're interested, it's called NBT Explorer, and it's really handy, but anyway, um, and so this is the block palette that we have to work with in alpha, these are all the blocks, um, some of these aren't exactly feasible though, um, for instance, getting a ton of obsidian, but nonetheless, they're there. Um, and this is the block power that I think I'm going to be working with when I try and build this house. So, I'm going to see how I go, trying to design a house to go over here. And, yeah, and I'll get back to you, um, once I have an idea down. Alright, so, I made a few attempts. So, this is my first attempt of a house here that I was thinking of, but I, um, I actually tried to base it off some Google Images. But, as you can see, I really didn't think it was coming out too well, especially on the scale of Alpha where most things are a full block. And then I was intending on doing like a more custom shape. But then, I, uh, then a friend of mine actually built a house for me on housing um, in Hypixel. And this is, uh, this is their design here. And um, I thought it looked alright, 
but I did uh, I definitely thought it could be scaled down a little bit so I decided to try and recreate it um, but as a more scaled down version and this is what I think I'll build now I know there's cobblestone walls here and I actually thought these were in alpha I thought these were in for a long time I guess partially because they've been in pocket edition for a long time and so I just thought that um, it would only make sense that they were also in uh, Java edition for a long time but that's not the case they were actually added in release 1.4.7, which I had no idea. But anyway, so they won't be there. I'll probably just put fences there for the time being. So I mean, that shouldn't look too bad. Like this. Whoops. Like that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad to me. So, uh, yeah, this is what I intend on building. I've tried my best to follow the rules of Alpha in terms of the building and that. and In terms of the stair placement. I know it's still not going to be perfect. Um, there's no corner stairs, so where the corner stairs usually are, I put, um, co uh, put a full cobblestone block. But, yeah, I think this will be about as close as I can get. So, I'm going to now start trying to build this in alpha. I'm going to try and go layer by layer. So, if I just find another flat land over here, I'm going to reload that. And I'll show you schematic, uh, sorry, schematica's feature. There we go. So, something like that, I can just sort of go from there. And, yeah, so... I think I'll see how I go and try and build this, and I'll get back to you once I've got most of it built. I'll probably have some progress updates, I guess, going along the way, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Alright, so I'm a little bit trapped up here at the moment. Um, i got a skeleton on my front veranda there, actually. Um, but this is the first layer, pretty much, and I was in the middle of building the second layer when a skeleton came over and decided to try and bother me. Um, I've also just realised that even when it does turn to day, it's not going to be great because he won't burn. So I'm just wondering what I can do. Whoa, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Alright. I was just a little bit worried, okay. So all my armour is completely broken, so I'm pretty uh, vulnerable right now. But that could have gone worse. Alright, so... Um, I'm fresh out of cobblestone right now. I made one too many stairs, and I could easily turn these back into cobblestone just by placing them and then mining them. But mining them takes them forever. I would much rather go in and just dig out this hill with a wooden pickaxe. But here's the progress. So you can see here, most of it is actually done. Um, the roof on the um, back area there is mostly done as well. There's, um, if I just go over here, and... It's really starting to take shape, and I'm really loving it, actually. I know it might look a little bit odd to have this window sort of isolated on its own, but I think it looks alright. It looks alright to have a separate little window there, and a nice little back door. And, yeah, you can see here, like I said, most of it is actually done. And I'm really... It, it's really coming together now, and I'm really loving it. Let's go in. And you can see here, we've got a bit of a balcony-like system here. The stairs are very work in progress, obviously. They're going to be changed to actual stairs. But anyway... Yeah, most of it is actually coming together. I'd imagine most of my storage and that will be up here, and then a lot of my crafting and smur smurfs. <laughs> Good grief. My furnaces will be down here. I was trying to combine smelting and furnaces, and it really didn't work. It started making it sound like I was saying smurfs. But yes, my smurfs will be in there, as well as my crafting table. And um, yeah, so I'll show you another progress update once I mine out. I would probably say I only need about a stack of, of cobble. And that should be about it. So as the sun rises upon the horizon over there, we can see that the house is actually done. And I waited all night just so that this could be viewed in the day. So let's come down. Let's have a look. And I'd say it looks really nice. I really, I, I really, really enjoy the design, I think. I think it looks absolutely magnificent. Um, everything is done. I've given it the once over. Um, I'm giving it a bit of a twice over right now. Um, the stairs are still pretty buggy in this version, so yeah, you can see there that the stairs are a little bit, yeah, they're facing the wrong way. But the front looks alright at least, so I guess there's that. Um, but anyway, let's go in and let's have a look. So over here, there's the area where like you can look over here and stuff like that. I think that's a nice little feature that not a lot of houses really incorporate. I know that it's wasted room. I could just sort of have it go right over there for more room. I might do that in the future if I start running out of room. I don't know. But for now, I think it looks pretty nice just like that. And over here will be, obviously, like I said before, where my storage will be. I can look out the window and see the time of day for the most part. Um, 
and I can see what's going on. And so I can come down here and look out this window, look out the window over here. There's pretty much windows in every direction, pretty much. So, um, while visibility is still not ideal, I mean, if a mob was standing here, I wouldn't actually have any idea that it was here. Um, I think what I'll do, maybe next episode, is put a fence around the house, right? And have this sort of fence gate system going on. And have it all lit up, so that way, it, no matter what, because that's something I had trouble with over here. A creeper actually blew up and almost killed me. Um, it was sitting right there. I hope I walked out and it just goes, and all I had time to do was to go back. And it just actually blew all this up, so I had to repair it. Now, of course, that was off camera though, unfortunately, so. But yeah, so that black, uh, black myth? blacksmith will stay there for quite some time. No, I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. Just because I do think it looks nice just as is, but I will slowly start moving my stuff over to here And I think it'll be definitely worthwhile I um, I don't exactly know where I'll put my furnaces and stuff because I might have to take out a window I don't know um, If I was to take out a window, I really don't know which one because they all look pretty nice I especially like this one because of the nice trees over there. I'll figure something out But I think that might do it for this episode um, that's all I really have time for today, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then leave a dislike. And, um, I think that's just about it. Um, maybe to get you a little bit hyped for the next episode, perhaps, just maybe, a tiny chance, I might have a few friends join next episode. I know in the description of the first video it mentions that it's very unlikely I'll have friends, but I saw Robocast actually play Minecraft 1.0 and he did it with some friends and it looks like a, quite a lot of fun actually to have friends on so I'll see how it goes and I'll see what uh, what happens in that regard for the most part most of my content will still be just me um, and a lot of it will still just be me on my own but you'll see a lot of other buildings prop up and perhaps some of the others that might join if it goes through the plan um, they will probably have their own YouTube channels where you can follow their progress here on uh, alpha 1.1.2 underscore zero one that's about it though thanks for watching